welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, what we got today? Uh, EC5 connectors. I'm swapping these out. Uh, they're the ones I'm using in EXB, but XT60s. Um, basically, I just chucked them on while I was waiting for these to turn up, just so I could try it. But uh, yeah, we uh, these can only handle about 60 amp, maybe 70 max, but they're rated for 60. They're rated for 150. Um, the ESC is 150 constant, and I think it's about 950 what it peaks out at. Um, but yeah, these will be far better for it. So I've got the lovely task of swapping all my batteries over to uh, EC5s. Uh, we're going to be using this thing, so let's get that fired up. Uh, I've already got it set to 450, so we'll just wait for that to warm up. You don't, uh, you don't necessarily have to have something like this to uh, solder connectors. I mean, I've got that little thing there. I've used that for years, but uh, this just makes it easier. It just eats up quicker and keeps it more of a set, uh, set temp. So I've got it set to around 450 because these connectors are bloody massive, <laughs> and they do need quite a bit of heat. So as soon as that's up to temp, we can make a start. It's not a bad uh, soldering station, this one. If you watch that little dot, that goes out as it uh, stabilises and reaches temp. So, what do we need to do first? We need to get this thing off. And try not to get out shorting out and uh, blowing us up, because that would be bad. So these are the XT60s with the built-on shield, um, you just wiggle that and it comes off. So now to get the, uh, get the old leads off, Let's see if I can do all this without uh, putting too much in way at camera. So that's one off. Now, what I find best to do with these, because no, no matter what you try and do, they will try and short out, and you don't want to blow your batteries. So you're better off just getting a bit of tape around them while you're working on it, just so we don't get shorting battery out. See if I can keep it uh, keep it in view for you. Right. So we've now got the old connector. Out. Right, so what you want to do is get the uh, old cover off, get that out of the way, and then just clip it back on the uh, old cover because you never know when, when they're going to come in handy. And connector wise, you've got two sides to it. And they do have positive and negative writ on them. And to be honest, there probably is a right and wrong way around to do these. But if you're swapping all your connectors and all your ASCs and all your charge leads, it don't really matter which way around you do it. it it's completely up to you. If you do it the opposite way around, it can make it a bit more awkward to buy extra charge leads if you need them. But we're going we, uh, with these ends on battery. So... Try and get it in shot. It's got plus and minus, positive and negative. So you want to get that on your battery leads first. And 
and I find it useful with this uh, this little clamp. Uh, let's see, have we got the so I'm going with these ends on the battery. These ends will be going on the ESC. Now I'm using this because I don't want to burn my mat. And these little buggers are difficult to hold on to. So basically we've got it in there. And then what I like to do, we're doing the negative one first, so let's get a bit of solder on here. So I like to uh, get a bit of solder flowing in the connector, it makes life easier. And then we want to make sure we got plenty of uh, plenty of solder and tin the negative lead because that's the one we're going to be working on first. And these things get bloody hot, so you can either use a pair of pliers or just wrap some cloth around it. And you're basically wanting this to go in. It wants to be straight down so if you get it in position then apply a bit of heat to both you want all the solder to melt at the same time And then what I like to do, if there's any, any gaps in solder, I'll eat it up and just flow a bit more solder into it. Make sure we've got a perfect connection all the way around. And you don't want any bits sticking off at the side of it. So basically, what you should end up with is a really nice connection wire going directly straight down into it really solid leave it a good leave it a good few minutes to cool down because they do hold heat really uh, a lot more than the xt60s right so we'll move on to positive so we can slide the negative wire back and just clip it into there for the time being and then we've got the positive one showing so again, we don't want uh, we don't want that shorting out on anything. So we will get his next pin. And again, we want to uh, see if I can get a better angle for you, so you can see what I'm doing. So if you get plenty of solder in there to start with, it'll definitely make your life easier when you're trying to solder the uh, wire on. So again, like the uh, 
last one I'm just gonna retin this wire and then try not to burn end of my fingers off when I get this one on there we go so that one's in nice Tidy up any straggling wires because we don't want them poking out. And basically, that's what you're that's what you're looking for. You want it all the way down into the actual plug itself, and any uh, just little. Straggling cables, you can just clip them off. Any bits of solder, give it a good, good tug about. Make sure it's not, uh, it's not going to crack. And then the next thing we want to do is slide it back in. So if you look, we've got a is positive and negative where it should be. Right. <clears throat> now there's multiple ways to do this next part. But basically what you want to do is get those pushed back. So and what I find is the easiest way is to get a small vise. If I can do it without uh, getting the wires shorting out. And then basically what you want to do is get the pins and just tap them down. So straight down with screwdriver and tap them down. But I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand. <laughs> so let's get that done. Right. So that's where you want to knock them down to. They don't stick out bottom so you're not going to short your battery out. And then, basically, that's what you're left with. One connector, no wire showing at the top. And <clears throat> that's two of them done. They should be good for around 150 amp, I believe they are. So, now we've got to get them changed on the car. So we'll crack on with those. But, <clears throat> that's how you swap EC5 connectors. On, uh, onto your batteries thanks again for watching WTFRC cars if you like, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll catch you again in the next one